I'm Kaylin Lepre with Mammoth Lakes Tourism and today I'm with Keith Roberts. He's the supervisor of the trail crew for the Mammoth Mountain Bike Park. This segment is brought to you in part by the Inyo National Forest that wants to remind you to leave no trace. So when you're out biking enjoying these awesome trails, make sure you're sticking to the designated trails and not going off trail. That way it keeps you safe and it keeps these guys safe as well. And speaking of trails, you guys have been doing such an incredible job up here. There's so many cool additions and it just looks so fun. Can you tell us about some of the new things you've put in to the bike park? Yeah, some of the new things you'll notice out here is the 200 tons of paver stones that we've put in over the past few years. Um, wow. These paver stones are helping the trails to be sustainable so that they'll be here for years to come. Uh, nice. You'll find some of these paver stones on some of our premier trails such as Twilight Zone, which is like a downhill snake run. Uh, that you'll find a skate park, uh, zips through the trees. And then there's also a lot of wooden features we've put in. Uh, you'll find some of these f wooden features out on Pipeline, which is one of our premier jump runs, uh, moto style kicker ramps and wooden features all along that trail. Uh, another big area that we've developed is the chair 11 area um, that's right here behind us. Uh, the skills area is a good place to come out and get your feel for the mountain. Uh, beginners to experts alike can come out here and get a feel for features that you'll find out throughout the mountain. You'll find some paver turns, some drops and other wooden features out here so fun. I mean, this looks like somewhere I would want to come. I can make it down the hill, but I haven't really, you know, taken that next step into trying any jumps or different things. And this looks like just the place I want to be. What is um, maybe a good tip for somebody like me who wants to kind of progress, you know? Yeah, a good step? tip is uh, don't get in over your head and start out somewhere like the skills area here is a perfect place to, to get in and find out what you're comfortable with as far as what kind of features you want to ride and what kind of trails you're looking for. Um, and then also uh, another good skill for any rider is to to look out ahead, look out where you want to go. Don't look down in front of you at your front tire. Right. And uh, that way you, you have time to process the trail coming at you and, and you get a good vision of, of where to go. Right. And I mean, that is great tips because a lot of people take that into skiing and snowboarding, looking ahead, you know, not you know, looking before you leap, too, yeah. is huge in yeah. this area. There's a lot of big jumps. Yeah, <laughs> you, you definitely want to know when you, when you do want to go out and explore new trails. Make sure you're, you're not getting in on something that you're going to scare yourself on. You do want to progress, but you want to do it safely. Right. You don't want to get in uh, over your head and, and find yourself coming down a trail that, that you shouldn't be on. I think that's a great tip because that's actually something a lot of people use and skiing and snowboarding is, you know, look ahead, which mm -hmm. is awesome. That's a great tip. So come join us this week. We have the High Sierra Fall Century Ride and we also have the return of the Kamikaze Games. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Yeah, Kamikaze Games coming back to Mammoth, bigger and better than ever. Yeah. Uh, kamikaze Games are... We have all kinds of bike races. There's going to be a bike expo down at Canyon Lodge along with live music. Uh, plenty of things for spectators to come and watch. Uh, races including the Kamikaze. We're going to bring back the legends of the Kamikaze. Some of the first guys to come down Mammoth Mountain on their bikes reaching top speeds of 60 miles an hour coming down the Kamikaze here. Wow. Uh, will be one of the premier races along with uh, Dual Slalom which also started here in Mammoth and uh, so many more events, uh, too many to list here, but if you check out the Mammoth Mountain website, uh, you'll find a list of all the events going on. That's great, it sounds so exciting and so much fun. So thank you for all those awesome tips and thank you guys for tuning in. This has been your weekly reminder that the mountains are calling.